Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As some of you may know, I was a hitting partner for some of the players, such as John Isner and Nick Kyrgios at the Houston ATP 250 last year in 2022. This year, I was a hitting partner again for a couple of different players, with the most well-known player being Jack Sock. Before the warm-up, we chatted a bit, and I mentioned that I played him before in juniors. I played him in both singles and doubles, and I lost to him in singles every time, but I managed to beat him in doubles but that's because my partner carried my ass in that match. Jack didn't remember any of these matches though, which is totally understandable since he's gone on to become top 10 in the world with Olympic gold medals and Grand Slam titles. I do want to say something funny happened later on in the warm-up. He made a comment on how he remembered my volleys from the doubles match in juniors, and I guess I was hitting some good volleys during this warm-up, but that comment was really suspicious because my volleys were complete garbage and non-existent in juniors. That's still the case today, but I'm working on it and I think it's improving. Well, I don't know what compelled me to reply the way I did, but I felt the urge to call him out on this comment in a joking way. I'm pretty straightforward with no BS, so I was thinking, out of all my shots to remember, you remember my volleys? Like you could have said like, oh yeah, I remember your forehand, because after all, that's how I got my nickname, Chain Bang Tennis. But it was all in good fun, and I think we all had a good chuckle, so stay tuned later on in the video to see this interaction. Anyways, back to the warm-up. Everyone's a little different in warm-up, and you can tell that Jack was pretty relaxed and very casual about it. We started off easy, and you can see that we sped up the balls and the rallies a little bit. We just did the usual of ground strokes, a couple ground stroke drills, volleys, overheads, and serves. What I was most excited about though in this warm up was seeing his volleys. Like I said, my volleys have always been bad, so I'm hoping by observing his volleys in person, I can get some tips on the timing and the technique and just how to hit it. One thing that stood out to me during this warm up that also stood out to me when I played against him in juniors was his touch. I think touch can be learned, but some players just have that natural talent. Jack is definitely one of these people, and I don't think I am. It seemed as though he was just playing around on the court, a mindset similar to Kyrgios, but very different from Nadal. I'm not sure which mindset is better though. I always say you need a balance, a balance of working hard and relaxing, or being serious and being carefree. Everyone's a little different, so you have to find what works for you. Another one of Jack's shots I like to touch on is his forehand. Everyone knows that kind of funky swing that leads to a super fast spinny ball. When I was taking volleys at the net, I could literally see the ball curve and fly in a weird way. It was a pretty cool experience and I just like to imagine what that forehand would be like in a real match setting. Hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and stick around to see the funny moments of this warm up.
Yeah. <laughs> 